guys, it's Blackstone. Betty, as much as I love a good smash burger off of the Blackstone griddle, I also love a big, fat, juicy burger. In this video, I'm showing you guys one of my favorite fatty burgers, which is a lamb burger. We're gonna top it off with a creamy feta cheese sauce. I just know you guys are gonna love it, so let's jump right into this one. Blackstone it always comes out so good when I think of lamb I think of a good feta cheese some fresh herbs citrus I love serving lamb with things like zucchini or cucumbers tomatoes onions oh I can't get enough first we have to start mixing up our ground lamb to make our burgers I'm adding to one pound ground beef some finely diced red onion I said red not purple the boys are getting to me. I'm gonna add to that some finely diced purple onion. I've chopped up some flat leaf parsley and some fresh mint. I'll add a little of each to that. I'm gonna season everything up with our Blackstone Essential Blend. I almost forgot to add in my fresh crumbled up feta cheese. I'll add a big handful of that. Give this all a mix and then we'll form two big half pound patties because well, when I said I like a fatty, I really mean I like a big fat lamb burger. When forming your burgers, be sure to press down in the center, making just a small indentation. This is gonna help your burgers not ball up. These burgers look delicious, so let's get to our sauce for our burgers. I have some plain Greek yogurt that I'm gonna add some sliced green onions to, some fresh squeezed lemon juice, you could also zest in some of the rind of your lemon for an extra kick of flavor. I'm gonna crumble in some of our feta cheese. Give that a whisk together or a mix. Add in any extra lemon juice or green onions or cheese as needed until it's perfect to your taste buds. Now this can stay in your refrigerator for up to a week. It's perfect for dipping veggies in all week long. Now that our Blackstone is set to medium heat, I'm dropping down a little bit of ghee, spreading that around with my Blackstone spatula, and then we'll drop down our burgers. We'll allow our burgers to cook for a few minutes until they get a nice sear, and then we'll give them a flip. Now because of the thickness of these burgers, I do like to constantly flip these burgers every few minutes just to keep that juice centered into our burger just like we cook our steaks you can use the dome to help cook through your burgers whether you like your lamb on the rarer side or well done is completely up to you now while they hang out and do their thing under the dome I'm gonna jump over to my brioche rolls I'm gonna slather them up with some of our Duke's mayo and let them toast up to perfection such a beautiful golden brown color that these get on the Blackstone because of our Duke's Mayo. After a minute or two, these are done, so we'll pull them off. Now these burgers look delicious to me. I would eat these just like this, scooping them up with our yogurt sauce that we made, which makes me remember that I completely forgot to add garlic to my burgers. And I don't know how I did that because you all know I love garlic. So since I forgot to add garlic to my burgers, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic paste to my yogurt sauce. I have to have garlic when I'm having lamb. The two just go hand in hand. So I'll add a little drizzle of that in, whisk it in, and that just kicks that up a notch, which I love. Time to assemble our burgers. So we'll pull them off of our Blackstone and place them onto our toasted brioche buns. To that, I've sliced up some English cucumbers. We'll place a handful on each burger. Next up, some thinly sliced purple onions, our beautiful cocktail tomatoes because they're the only tomatoes that are good in season right now. And tomatoes, of course, love their salt and pepper, so we'll season those up. Spoon over that cheesy yogurt sauce on the top of our buns. And these are picture perfect lamb burgers. I can't wait to dive into this. So let's get the tops on these burgers, slice them up in half. You can just see how juicy this lamb is. Along with those juicy cocktail tomatoes, I am ready to enjoy every single bite. And I hope that you lamb lovers out there, go try this recipe. And when you do, post a picture, of course, and tag Blackstone Products and tag Blackstone Betty. We love seeing you guys recreating all of our recipes. Don't forget while you're at it to go to griddlenation.com and shop apparel and stickers. And don't forget, 
check out the Blackstone YouTube channel and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell so that you get a notification whenever a new recipe drops from myself or CJ, Nate, Todd, Destination Delicious, and of course the one and only Bruce Mitchell. And until next time, I'm Blackstone Betty. I can't wait to see you guys enjoying a fat, juicy lamb burger. Thank you.